Hey, it's Isaac here. Um, so this video is over PRL853. If you don't know already, I'm QDidit from longacy.org. I helped lead the group by for that. It's still not over, but hopefully soon. Um, PRL853 for me does help with memory, but in a rather odd way. It doesn't so much give you anything near an eidetic memory. Um, the mechanism that it messes with, mainly with the cholergenic system, is interesting. It combines well with coloracetam, which I'll get to. Um, PRL 53 um, for me, memory-wise, I didn't do any actual testing with it, I didn't really see a point as I took it, I didn't feel any much different. Um, I noticed that um, if I saw something one day a while on it, the next day I would see the item, maybe a glimpse of it, and all of a sudden I just have like almost like a flashback type thing where I remember the item perfectly, knew where it was, knew where when, I knew my state of mind at the time, and everything was like, it looked just little, being a little flashbacks, it was weird. But now that's important, it's important to recall that I just added it to my stack. I didn't actually um, trial it alone because that would require a cleansing process, I guess, of my stack, and that's kind of a bad idea. I always, always look to add things that are hopefully synergistic whatever with, them, with what I'm already taking. I don't want to just stop everything I'm taking and just take one supplement. I mean, that would actually be kind of nice if I could find one thing that replaced everything, but I don't see that happening anytime soon, or if ever. Now, um, with PRL, with, a, with coloracetam, um, they do generally boost each other's effects. Color drastic, color acetam does um, give a color boost. It helps with depression a little bit, makes you a little bit happy, and it also messes with the collagenic system. They both do so, but they're different mechanisms. But together, they seem to have a nice rounded effect. Now, color acetam is a little bit stimulating by some reviews. I find it to be um, mildly so, and others have reported um, PRL fifty three to be a little um, energetic, but that can be placebo. Yeah, we need more reviews on it, people post it online. But overall, it, I, I've noticed it does have a little bit of an energy kick. Nothing much, could be easily the Slevo. But together, though, they do seem to be fairly nice. Synergistic, syn the synergy is pretty good. Energy's a little bit higher, um, concentrates, and there's almost like a ser serotonin effect. Now, I only take PRL AP3 like um, two to three times a week. I kind of cycle it. Some people have been taking it for several weeks and they, they don't notice any tolerance. Some people have taken it for a few days and have noticed tolerance. Um, that's either placebo, which First thing that pops to mind, or it could be um, people act differently. Some people build up tolerance quickly. It depends on diet, genetics, everything. There's a lot of factors. So, myself, I haven't noticed any tolerance with it. I generally go sublingually with it. It does have a little bit of a numbing, numbing effect. As far as PLIP3 goes, um, I'm glad I, I'm very much glad I did group I. I like it in my stack as a recreational use. It does add a nice little, little bit of a deviation or difference for the stack. It helps keep things mixed up a little bit. As far as adding to my everyday use, I highly doubt because um, its mechanisms aren't fully understood. It was the only study was back in the 70s, so I don't really feel safe taking it every day, and I feel much better cycling it. It gives my nice chance, my body, my mind a nice chance to clear out any negatives that can be caused by it. So yeah, and I cycle most things in my stack anyway. So and you can always um, visit my profile page on longacy.org to see what I'm up to currently. I try to update that about once a week or so. Um, getting on topic again. So as long as far as PLA 53 goes, uh, if you have the money to waste or spend, then um, go ahead and try it. You might like it. A lot of people have. Some people don't notice anything on it. I really think it depends on it's made of a mechanism of action. It might be best possibly take it with a choline source. That's arguable. Some people um, say they do, and some people say they don't. It really depends on how well your body's stocked up on choline. Myself, um, with paracetam and the rest of paracetams in general, I never got headaches, which I have, which I eat a lot of choline from chicken and eggs, everything, so choline's fine. Now, there's always superior sources of choline, which can better optimize the effects. Now, one thing I've noticed, I think um, younger people are generally better with choline. They don't necessarily get the headaches. They're called generic choline headaches, is what they're called. I, I call them anyway. Old people seem to be more depleted or don't utilize it as well, so they're the ones who I've noticed online get the headaches the most, or report that anyway. But um, I think that wraps it up for PLA53. Um, it's an interesting compound. I enjoy it. Um, go ahead, if you would, like this, share it, subscribe, and as always, try to be the best you can be. Strive for optimization, and I think yeah. Stay frosty. Now there is another stack that combines coloracetam PLA53 with um, a couple other compounds for a nice um, keep me awake for three days and a hyper-focused stack. 
Um, it's a little controversial, so I'll just put um, a link down below directly to that post. Uh, now, as far as the study goes, it shown an increase in between 21 and 22 digits. I think it was like a 218% increase. Oh, no, actually 275% increase. Wow, my memory's failing me. Look at that.